Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I am back to work on my journal for Junk Journal July. I'm going to go ahead and start working on the cover. My fabric collection is very minimal. I really mostly have just a few items that are Christmas themed, but I do have this um, fat quarter, is what it's called, single, that I got from Walmart some time ago. And I kind of like the sunflower floral theme of it. So I think I'm going to use this. Um, since, I don't know, I have the black paper in here and the, the lion. I don't know, I just thought it might work okay. So what I'm going to do is I have another, just a piece of old cardstock here. I'm going to actually do this like it was an actual book cover and use some of this fusible stuff. I have this one that I picked up, it's heat bond. So it's like double sided adhesive that you can iron on. I'm not going to use this one, I have an old one. So I'm not going to use that one since I already have this one open but I just wanted to share this one with you and if I can find it on Amazon I'll link it in my shop I'm gonna go ahead and use this one because I've had this for a couple of years and I think I need to use it before it actually goes bad I don't know if that is possible but I'll use this one first so basically what you do I have to read the directions every time so, okay, I need to place this. See how it's got the wrinkles in it? That's what makes me think it's going bad. So I'm just going to line this up as close as possible to the edge of this cardstock, and it will stick. And I'm going to put this back over it so that the sticky part won't stick to anything else while I am smoothing this out. Because I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to take my ruler and really just burnish that down. Paying attention to my edges. Two. All right, so now I'm going to warm up my iron. So I do have another piece of fabric that is less busy, but it's just like a basic beige color. I don't think I want to use that. I may end up covering quite a bit of this with something, but I'd just rather use this one for me. Okay, so I'm going to trim off the excess now while we wait on the iron can take this off get rid of that so it's adhered to the card the cardstock for now let's take this off then I'm going to put this on here like so kind of close to the edge but with room to fold it over then I'm going to trim off the excess
Oops. So this is what we got. And that is not straight. Let's smooth this out. Luckily, this is forgiving until I actually iron it. So let's try to smooth it out. Maybe I should have ironed the fabric first. Okay. That feels pretty smooth. A little bit crooked. <laughs> No, we can't be crooked. Let's try it again. I know what. I'm going to go ahead and iron this and then come back and put this on here. Okay, let's try that again. Let's get it nice and straight. Let it cool off because I don't want the heat to activate it. Let's use now let's see. That's much better. Okay, so my suggestion iron first. <laughs> And then, so what I'm going to actually do is pull this over. I'm going to do just like I normally would a book cover. But then this piece will go on top of it. So this would be like the inside cover. Okay, so it's going to have like a parchment inside cover. So now I'm going to go and iron this on so it can be permanent. I'm going to put the other piece on here as well because I don't want to use glue on this because glue tends to just start puckering up once it's folded with this bond, the heat bond or fuse, it doesn't do that. Okay, Let's, let me iron this first and then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, so I ironed it on. It's on there pretty good. Um, I'm thinking, should I stitch it first and then put this inside cover on? Or stitch it after? And I probably need to trim off about a quarter of an inch because I want it to show around the border a little bit. Like so. So maybe I'll stitch it afterwards and stitch along the edge. I think that would be nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and get another piece of this. So that just leaves me with one more piece to use on a project. And go ahead and stick this down. Again, this is this is um, parchment cardstock that I got from Hobby Lobby few years ago I actually forgot I had it it was hiding on the shelf so. and let's line this up in the corner I'm gonna put this piece back over so that we can trim and it doesn't stick. Okay, so this is 11 inches wide, so we want to go to 10 and 3 quarters. And then on this side, we use 8 and a half, but we're going to go to 8 and a quarter. So that cut off about a quarter of an inch on both sides. So we can take this out of the way. And go ahead and burnish this on really well. Okay. So 
there is our paper. I don't want this to go over this, so I need to go ahead and go ahead. I need to stop repeating myself for one. I need to go ahead and seal down the edges of the fabric to fold them on over. So I'm gonna do my corners. I'm not really good at this corner thing. And I've never done this this way before. So I'm just not gonna go all the way. I'm gonna leave like an eighth of an inch away from the corner to miter these edges. I don't even know if this is necessary to do with fabric since it's not as bulky as paper. But to be on the safe side, I'm doing it anyway. Because I'm making this up as I go. It is super duper hot today. Um, I heard on the news at lunchtime that the heat index is supposed to be 112 today. That is crazy. I am in Central Florida, but still, 112? <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm going to put the... I'm using Fabri-Tac if I can get it to come out. I don't know what's going on with it. I was having problems with it last night, too. But I'm going to... Once I'm able to get it to come out of the bottle, put it on the fabric because I can see exactly how much I need to put on or where I need to put it. If I put it on the paper, I risk putting too much in a place where I don't actually need it. Let's try to get the strings to fold over too. And I guess I don't need a whole lot because I just basically want this to stay in place while I'm ironing on and sewing on the other pieces. Got the bone folder to help tuck in these corners. Should have did that before. It doesn't work quite as well as it does with paper. But, ah. Uh, having an explosion with the <laughs> fabric tack so. we can close that up now so that it doesn't want to seep out making a mess okay. I have to go back and tuck those corners okay so the next part is to iron this piece on This will be our cover. And I see a little of the heat bond hanging off the edge here. So I'm gonna trim that off. Maybe I should ink the edges a little bit. It's probably overkill, but I like the way that looks, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Just a little bit. since the outside is black, a black floral. Oh, and now I see I need to trim this off too.
Okay. So that will go in there like that. So I'm going to go iron that on. And then do the sewing. And let's see which way I wanted to go. And then I'll come back. I'm going to make this the top. I didn't score the fold yet or anything like that. I just hopefully everything will be centered and lined up where it needs to be. Since I've already folded this piece of cardstock. Okay. So. And that's probably not going to work out right because. I already I tr the way I trimmed it so this center fold is off a little bit and so I'm just gonna burnish that out some <laughs> because I won't be able to use that I shouldn't have done that that way but that's what happens okay so now I'm gonna go iron this and do the stitching and I'll be back I should probably put something over this. The old wrinkly piece of pink paper that will work. So I'm just gonna make sure I pay extra attention to the edges, the corners, and just kind of slide the iron around. So my machine currently has red um, thread in it. I was thinking of changing it but I kind of like the, the idea of the red. It's a contrast because if I use black it won't show up on the cover good it'll show up on the inside good and if I use white vice versa so I'm gonna go with the red but it will show any mistakes that I make but this is junk journaling so so I've started sewing it and I'm doing a zigzag stitch and I'm running the center of the stitch right between right on the edge of the parchment cardstock so as you can see this is like right in the center of the presser foot. Is it pressure foot or presser foot? Anyway, it's in the center of that. Okay, so I stitched it. I went with the red um, stitching. It doesn't show up as much as I thought it might, but I still kind of like the way it looks, that contrast of color. This is what it looks like. I had to go over it with the iron one more time because it started curling. So now I need to actually score it and fold it, which is the scary part. <laughs> um, because it is paper. And as I thought, that center fold is off a little bit. That's that original score mark. But luckily that's going to show up in the back. And you probably won't be able to see it once I um, do this way. Once I put the signature in, you won't be able to see it. So because this is such a stiff cover, it's not as stiff as chipboard, but it's pretty stiff. I am going to do multiple scores just to help it fold better. meaning so that's my main score line there which doesn't appear to be in the center very well let's butt this up against this okay and do some burnishing because this is really really stiff so we got that one and I'm gonna do about three-eighths of an inch next to that one two three yeah so not quite half an inch 
just on both sides I really need a different score tool for this to kind of give it more of a rounded effect on the spine if that makes sense I don't want it to be a hard fold but just kind of giving it a spine to allow for the bulk of the pages I guess how it best describe that but still keeping that center fold intact let's work with that okay Not perfect, but junk journaling. So there's that. I can trim my papers. So in preparation for trimming, I still need to decorate the cover, but this is the back actually. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do my trimming off the top and off the side. So this is the punch cradle. I'll link the information below. Last time I checked, they were not selling them. She did tell me that they would actually have them again as soon as they were able. So it wouldn't hurt to keep checking back. And there are also um, options where you can make your own. You can check Pinterest. That was initially what I wanted was to make my own, but my carpenter person was taking too long so <laughs> um so i'm just making sure everything is lined up the way i want it in here before i trim i'm gonna take this envelope out for now and i'm not sure if i should trim before i make changes to pages or how i should do this but i think it's going to drive me a little crazy until i actually trim it so let's go ahead and do some trimming. Okay. And I'm just going to mark with a pencil where I want to cut. And you could do this with a blade. I'm probably going to do it with my heavy duty paper trimmer because it's easier. <laughs> And it generally comes out well when I do that. So in the meantime here, what I had the clips for, which I should have did before I took it out of the cradle, is to clip everything in place. So I'm going to measure to see what I need to cut. I'm going to cut it to five and three eighths by probably eight and three eighths. Yep. <laughs> eight and three eighths. Maybe eight and a quarter. No. Eight and three eighths. Okay. So I'm going to trim this down and I'll be back. Okay, so I've trimmed it down. I had to do a little repositioning of my clips. So I'm going to put those back the way I had them. And do my angle. Mm Okay, so when I get ready to stitch it, it will go into the cradle like this and I can poke my holes and do the stitching onto my cover. So this is what it looks like. It's fitting in there nicely. I could probably trim off a little more on 
this side. Maybe I should. I don't think so. Because then I'll probably add tabs and stuff on it too. I think it's going to fit in there nicely. So this is actually day three of this challenge. And obviously I'm not sticking <laughs> with what I'm supposed to be doing. I did do the introduction. And if you're a patron, you were able to see that. Um, this is everything that's supposed to be done so far. Today is the third. So I should be have done the introductions. I should have created a collage. And today I should use a tag. So I'm thinking I'm going to combine create a collage and use a tag together. And that's probably going to be one of my first ways of decorating. So I'm not actually using this to journal. I'm actually going to try and use this to embellish this journal. I think that would be better. I don't really want it to be just about me. Yeah, so I need to read through this, but um, you can find this information on Instagram, and these are the hosts, and I think they are also on YouTube too. If I can find their accounts, I will link them below. So that's all I'm going to do here for now. I will be back to actually start doing the items on the list and doing what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.